Request, insist that President Obama, when he is at the Detroit Auto Show this Wednesday, come to Flint, Michigan. It was February, the EPA telling the state of Michigan, telling the Rick Snyder administration, high levels of lead are being reported or being found in Flint. The water is corrosive, it is leaching lead out of the pipes there. That was the state being told what was wrong by the EPA last February. And still, the Snyder administration told the people of Flint to relax, keep drinking the water. There was the email in September from another state health official to three of his state colleagues. Quote, sounds like there might be more to this than what we learned previously. Yikes! That's literally written in the email, the word yikes. We need the President of the United States here. We need federal help. We need FEMA. We need, we need the EPA. We need the CDC. And we need the Army Corps of Engineers. We have a governor that knew that toxins, pollutants, and eventually lead was, in that was leaching into the water and being sent into the taps of people's homes. This governor, Governor Snyder, the Flint water situation may be his Katrina, but if President Obama flies in and out of here and just flies over the city of Flint, it will become his New Orleans. Michigan Governor Rick Schneider apologized today for the state's role in the situation, and he acknowledged that uh, he has a long way to go to regain the public's trust. Uh, thanks for having me, Chuck. Let me just clarify, when they say that we've been drinking Detroit, Detroit water for 50 years since I was a child, uh, Detroit gets their water from Lake Huron. This is a glacial lake, very mm -hmm. clean water that we've been drinking since I was a child. Uh, Detroit pays for it, but it comes from Lake Huron. That's the water we were drinking until the governor of Michigan uh, uh, overruled and took over the city of Flint, uh, uh, fired the people that were elected by the citizens of Flint to run their city, and, and then installed cronies of his to, to run the city and to, and to find ways to cut back and save money. And, and so one of their big ideas was, let's cut off the clean drinking water, that's expensive, and let's just suck water out of the Flint River here that's been going through town and has got 100 well, in, years in of, fairness, of in, poisonous do you, do you, toxins in it. Do you believe, though, that, that they knew in advance these had poison? I mean, you don't believe yes. that they intentionally oh. wanted to poison Flint. Yes. I mean, I, I, oh, I, oh, I believe, yes, I, I don't believe that they sat down at a meeting and said, let's poison everyone right. who's okay. left in Flint. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, it's, it's just like a drunk driver gets behind the wheel of a car and uh, runs over a four-year-old on the sidewalk. He didn't intend to kill the four-year-old, right. but the reckless driving has consequences. These reckless actions, they knew almost a year ago uh, that this, what this water, the corrosive water was doing from the Flint River, it was tearing the lead off the aging pipes underground and putting lead from those pipes into the water. The water from the Flint River was already toxic and anybody Anybody knew that. I mean, it would just, it would, you don't need a study to know you don't drink from the Flint River. You don't, you don't drink from the river running through, you know, past those uh, uh, oil and gas depots right. in New Jersey. So it, it, it really was just absolute insanity. The people of Flint begged to have their clean drinking water back. The governor refused to listen. He mocked the critics. He mocked the doctors who were doing the studies at the local hospital, ridiculed them, wouldn't listen to anybody. And, and now we know that the majority, if not all of the children in Flint, uh, have lead permanent brain damage in their bodies. You can't get this out. Well, Lester, I spent a lot of time last week being outraged by what's happening in Flint, Michigan. 
and I think every single American should be outraged. We've had a city in the United States of America where the population, which is poor in many ways and majority African American, has been drinking and bathing in lead contaminated water. And the governor of that state acted as though he didn't really care. He had requests for help that he basically stonewalled. I'll tell you what, if the kids in a rich suburb of Detroit had been drinking contaminated water and being bathed in it, there would have been action. So I sent my top campaign aide down there to talk to the uh, mayor of Flint to see what I could do to help. And I issued a statement about what we needed to do. And then I went on a TV show and I said it was outrageous that the governor hadn't acted and within two hours he had. And I want to be a president who takes care of the big problems and the problems that are affecting the people of our country every day. Thank you. Senator Sanders. What Secretary Clinton was right, and what I did, which I think is also right, is demanded the resignation of the governor. A man who acts that irresponsibly should not stay in power. Governor Snyder moved the city of Flint to Detroit's water supply back in October. But Flint's mayor says concerns over lead problems persist, leaving the population without safe drinking water. So as public documents be begin to come into the public domain, we are learning that there is evidence that state officials knew as far back as February that certain Flint homes had very high levels of lead in their water and that as early as April the EPA was aware of some of that as well. Now the, the issue here is that the people were not told until August and when they were told in August that was not even by the state or government officials that was by a Virginia Tech researcher who stepped in and it wasn't until October that they took any steps to remedy so now the question is for all of those months that they had the data why weren't they acting? Just to, to talk for a second about what's happening in Flint. Um, you know, I am very proud of what I've done as president. But the only job that's more important to me is the job of father. And I know that if I was a parent up there, I would be beside myself that my kids' health could be at risk. And that's why over the weekend I declared a federal emergency in Flint to send more resources on top of the assistance that we've already put on the ground. We've designated a federal coordinator to make sure the people of Flint get what they need from their country. Uh, yesterday I met with Mayor Weaver. Uh, in the White House, in the Oval Office. And I told her that we are going to have her back and all the people of Flint's back uh, as they work their way through uh, this terrible tragedy. 